Please welcome Dave Fortin. Yeah. Good to see you again. Good to see you. That was a disturbing toy. I'm not going to lie. I have one out the back if you want it. <laughs> uh, fool me once, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You guys weren't there for the closing of Melbourne Comedy Festival yeah, last yeah. year. Yeah. We have a bit of history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the wedding okay. band's back on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Comedy Festival, I understand you have some humour-based comedy uh, coming up <laughs> at, the, at the festival. What um, are you looking forward to? Are you excited? I'm excited, mate. Although my confidence did go down because I kicked off at the Adelaide Fringe Festival, which, Adelaide, you did an amazing job. It was such a good festival. And I was sauntering in for my, the opening of my show and the woman who works at the front, there's a full line there, and she just goes, have you got tickets to Dave Thornton? <laughs> <laughs> my profile needs to get bigger, <laughs> I've got to be honest. Um, but you've been doing comedy for a while, right? Like, I remember when I started, I would get gigs early on because people would think, oh, it's you because our last names kind of sound similar. They'd be like, oh, you're Dave Thornton. I'm like, no, Sam. Taunton, but like how oh, is like Husey? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Just a babushka dollar comedian said. <laughs> but how are things changed now? Mate, mate, because now I'm in my forties, that's what's changed now. You know, my partner and I were just talking about this. I no longer go to parties. I've realised this. You're a young bucker, you go to parties. You know what you do in your 40s, Sam? You go to functions. That's what you do. You go to functions. And then when you go there, this is what I hate about functions, is because there's always a dress code. And yeah. for guys, it's always what level of suit do you have oh, to wear, yeah. which you can see in this panel right here. Are you yeah. going full Perfect. suit or are you going you're a detective in Miami Vice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, yeah. you just never know. Thanks, Thorno. And uh, I got an invite only recently, and this is the one that always throws me off. It says, oh, it's cocktail dress. That's the one. Yeah, yeah what does that mean? I never know what it means. I'm like, OK, there's going to be cocktails there. They're supposed to impress me, not the other way around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, to be honest, if I'm about to drink cocktails, I'm about to drink copious amounts of alcohol in a very short period of time. <laughs> if I'm about to get rat ass, you know what genre of suit I prefer to wear? Track. <laughs> <laughs> You mentioned you're in your 40s. Same. Same thing. Kids are like the same age as well, right? Yeah, just about four and six of mine. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you find like your comedy's changed over the years now that you're in your 40s and heading towards middle age? And Absolutely. <laughs> I throw them under the bus, but I, <laughs> but I say to them, you know, it's going to send them to a good school if the show's a success, so they need to live with it. But this is what the fun... I don't know if you do the same thing now in your 40s, which is... Because I'm not on dating apps, obviously. You shouldn't be. No, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is live on telly. That's good. <laughs> uh, for us, it's the real estate app, my partner and I. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, we're just like creepy... Real porn, they call oh, it. Mate, oh, mate, we're like creepy swingers, you know what I mean? She'll send me one, I'm like, oh, I'm not in the market right now, but if I was, I'd absolutely go to that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Three, so three bathrooms, you say? Whoa. Oh, mate, look at that living room. <laughs> How many square metres is that? I'm glad I'm sitting behind a desk. You know what I mean, Pricey? <laughs> you know, I, no, I don't know what you mean. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Now, your shows are, are supposed to be fun, aren't they? They are. <laughs> I've never been to one, so I'm just asking. I they don't know. are fun, mate. Okay, so the new one's called Chatter. Yes. What's that about? Well, uh, <laughs> mate, it gives what's delivered on the label. There will be Chatter, don't you worry yeah, about that for about an hour. But you come across to me as kind of like a conservative guy. Would that be right, Pricey? No. No. Do you don't mind a couple of swearsies in the show? Because I know that's always what people have problems with. I do have a language issue, yeah. Yeah, because... I don't think you need to swear in comedy to be funny. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Proves my point. Well, you know, Pricey, I did a gig recently for a private school as a fundraiser because, you know, they need the cash. And, uh, <laughs> and I was about to go on stage and the organiser comes up to me just before I was about to go on stage and said, please don't swear. And I said, oh, is there students in the crowd? And they said, no, they're parents of the kids in the crowd and it would reflect badly on the school. And I was like, they've heard swear words before. How do I know that? Because they pay private school fees. <laughs> like, no one gets a bill for 40 large and goes, oh, fiddlesticks. That is... <laughs> D average too. Oh, that's good. That's worked out well. <laughs> we don't have much time left, but I'm a bit sus on you having a go at private schools because Why? I know you're the kind of comedian who goes to Aspen. <laughs> Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I've done a gig in Aspen. No biggie. Yeah. Well, rising. No, OK, this is the long and the short of it. And you've been waiting for this story for four yes. years. Because I was gloating to you on the phone, talking mm -hmm. about going to Aspen for this gig. I performed for a 70-year-old's birthday, a billionaire who lives in Aspen, Colorado. Right, it was just through a friend of a friend of a friend. They got me to do 20 minutes because she, she was born in Australia, so she wanted an Aussie comedian. Oh. I get there at this gig. It's in an Italian restaurant where Michael Jordan and Kim Kardashian frequent. Of course. I get there. I realise when, when I go up to do my bit, 
They're all 70 and they're all billionaires. Terrific. So I've got no point of reference. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sitting yeah. there going, oh, you know, it's funny. Toys have uh, their finger put up there. <laughs> <laughs> that would kill to anyone. Yeah. Thank you very much. And they're like, we just bought Angola. You know what I mean? Like, they don't care. <laughs> but there was this one woman who was hating it. And I'm just fixated a bit on her. And I could see in her face she was hating the whole thing. And then I, I finish, I sit next to the uh, birthday girl, and she enjoyed it, yeah. but this woman who hated it, had a disgusted look on her face, gets up and makes a beeline towards us. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this has got to be good. She's just going to explain how much she hated it. And then she's standing there with this still disgusted look on her face, and she goes, that was really good. And I was like, oh, because of plastic surgery, that's your face. <laughs>